Hello buddy, it's Ben Dominator and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the brand new Covert Cavern POI since it just got added in the new 19.20 update. If you guys do end up enjoying this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new because I make videos like this all the time, and you can also use my supporter creator code Ben Dominator in the Fortnite item shop hashtag ad. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So yeah, Covert Cavern is pretty much Grotto 2.0, like even more Grotto 2.0 than I expected but it is a vast improvement in my opinion. I have the unpopular opinion that I don't think the grotto was really that amazing in season two. Like it was fun for sure. Definitely one of the better POIs that we ever got on that map. But I think that this does that idea much better where grotto to me felt quite a bit cramped i feel like this py feels much more open there's a lot more space to breathe a lot more room to move and a lot less henchmen to deal with and yes this is a spy location something that i really haven't been a fan of in the past but it's also something that i really enjoy when it's done well i think that the io bases during chapter 2 season 7 were a lot of fun and i think this kind of mimics that feeling the henchmen are much more toned down there's not nearly as many i have actually played this in a actual game with real players but in battle lab it was a lot of fun to actually just fight these henchmen they weren't that powerful and even the boss here isn't really that strong and since this is a spy location that means there is a ton of loot since there's also a vault you can unlock as well and vaults are back which is great because that's one of the things i actually really liked about the henchmen locations was the vaults so when they weren't added in season 7 with the IO bases, it was a bit disappointing, but seeing a new vault here is really fun and I cannot wait to just drop here with a squad and try to win this POI because it's always super satisfying to get the vault in these kinds of POIs. And since the henchmen are done better in my opinion and since the POI is just more open and more free, it's just going to be more fun than ever. I think this is definitely going to be the best chapter 2 season 2 like experience in Fortnite at the moment. I think this is going to bring a lot of people back to that time because it's very familiar. You got the henchman, you got the vault, you got the boss, and I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. And I think Fortnite struck a really good balance here because while Tilted Towers brings you those old OG chapter 1 vibes, Covert Cavern, at least to me anyway, gives me strong early chapter 2, chapter 2 season 2 vibes. So it feels like Fortnite's definitely trying to appeal to as many people as they can, both with the people who are very big fans of chapter 1 and OG Fortnite, and people who are big fans of how chapter 2 was starting out because yeah when I land Covert Cavern it just brings me back to chapter 2 season 2 and I wasn't even a big fan of chapter 2 season 2 so it's saying a lot here because it means that they really took the time to improve how those POIs worked. While I haven't always enjoyed chapter 2 season 2 I always saw great potential in its mechanics it's just I don't think the execution was ever that good but here they've really refined it after they've done henchmen for so many seasons in chapter 2 it seems that they finally hit the sweet spot with this brand new POI. Now, before we end the video, I do have a few complaints though, but these are minor. They don't really affect the overall experience. My main complaint that I was worried about before this POI even was introduced is the fact that it is all IO themed. I'm not really a fan of IO. I don't really like the aesthetic of it. I think it's kind of boring. It's too gray for me, not very colorful, especially mixed with all the gray caverns. It is fitting, but I think that it is kind of bland. The color scheme's not really there. The props we've seen before, we've seen all this stuff before. It just feels kind of recycled. It just feels kind of boring. And yes, the cavern stuff helps a lot here. There is definitely a lot of uniqueness to how this POI is laid out, how it's structured. I love all that stuff. But when it comes to the actual buildings, I don't know. I just feel like they could have done a bit more with it. Again, it's probably just me. I'm personally just not a big fan of the aesthetic of the IO stuff but it is still very fitting for the theme of it. It's nice that we have the whole IO storyline continuing in this chapter. It makes a lot of sense, but overall, just not a whole fan of the aesthetics of it. The cavern part looks beautiful. I love how the caves look. I love how all that stuff looks. It's just the buildings themselves and the props that are used in the interiors that are just kind of boring in my opinion. But yeah, other than that, I think this is a really great POI. I don't know if it's one of my favorites just yet. Again, I haven't really gotten to play it in an actual match, but so far from the looks of it, it seems like a really exciting POI, especially with a group of people to play with. I think this is going to be a really fun POI to come in with a squad and just decimate it. I'm super excited. And honestly, I just am so glad that we're getting so many brand new 
POIs this chapter already. I have a feeling this will probably be the last new POI that we see during this season, but that's okay because season 2 is right around the corner, we're only a few months away. And this POI alone honestly brought way more mechanics to the game than Tilted did. It brought henchmen back, it brought vaults back, it brought a new boss, a new mythic. Like, this POI is jam-packed with more than just new buildings to loot. And that personally makes me really excited because this POI is definitely one of the more unique ones on the map, and having more unique stuff like this in the game encourages more replayability. And of course that added with the whole underground element makes this one of the most unique spots, if not the most unique spot on the map at the moment. But anyway guys, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, leave a comment, what do you think about the Covert Cavern POI? Are you personally excited about it? Do you not like it so much? I'd honestly personally love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.